Yellowstone latest warning. Rare geyser eruption means that changes are taking place and the authorities, the USGS, is warning. Yellowstone's volcano, it's a supervolcano as we know, one of the few in the world. The rugged landscape dramatically changed after the eruption of the upper geyser basin which spewed scorching water 30 feet high. Sebastian Kelly reports this on Express UK. This happened on September 15th and reported a few days later. Yellowstone National Park authorities noticed a flux of unusual behavior in the world famous geyser hotspot. There's a few geysers there. Now the typical docile hot pool named Ear Spring, the Ear Spring geyser blasted jets of water September 15th Saturday. The geyser erupted with hot water and this was the first time it did so in 14 years. So after 14 years it spewed a fountain between 20 to 30 feet high. People were there, there were even people walking along a, a small boardwalk path in between the geysers and uh, of course that was a very dangerous timing. On Monday, September 24th, the United States Geological Survey, USGS experts said this hot pool is still boiling over with bursts of hot water two feet high. So it's still happening. Around the time of the eruption, areas of the Yellowstone Supervolcano Park were closed off to tourists after the brand new thermal geyser sprouted out from the ground. This feature appeared between, beneath the tourist boardwalk when the bubbling crack fractured the ground. You can imagine, and you can see it here in the video. This is obviously provided to us by the camera of USGS. And you can see here the actual visitors walking on the boardwalk in between the spouting geysers. Of course, that is very dangerous. That's why it's since then been closed down because they still have activity. It's not 30 feet into the air, but it's two feet into the air. And that's enough to be dangerous, of course. USGS says the latest Yellowstone Caldera Chronicles update says news of the changes made great headlines. And it also serves to remind us that volcanic landscapes are dynamic and constantly changing places. Now this has, as we said, is the Ear Spring Geyser. The last time it erupted was 14 years ago. Park officials noted a number of unusual features on this geyser hill. Usual, the unusual changes of the upper geyser basin. A pool of hot water known as Doublet Pool has been boiling over in surges of water two feet high. This geyser, which has not been seen by uh, not seen any eruptive activity in recent history, began to sprout water up 10 to 15 feet high. So there's a number of geysers that are now activating for some odd reason. At the same time, the Lion Geyser, which is known for its numerous eruptions throughout the day, has, for some mysterious reason, gone quiet for, the, for three days. The North Goggles Geyser, which has been silenced in August, erupted in spectacular areas, in a spectacular may, way, uh, is now spewing hot water every 12 to 20 minutes. So we have the doublet pool changing over, boiling with surges of water two feet high. We have the ear spring geyser erupting, which didn't erupt for 14 years. We have the lion geyser, which uh, erupts numerous times each day. That has gone quiet for three days. Then you have the north goggles geyser, silent since August, erupting spectacularly spewing hot water every 12 to 20 minutes. What can you say? I mean, these are major changes, obviously. According to the USGS, 
Such changes in Yellowstone's hydrothermal features are not unheard of, but their outcome is unknown. Why all these changes in the geysers all of a sudden? The agency said, although the outcome of the current changes in Geyser Hill are uncertain, Yellowstone National Park geologists are monitoring the situation closely. The area of thermal heated ground may expand or a small hydrothermal explosion could occur much like what occurred in Pork Chop Geyser in 1989. Such changes in the Norris Geyser Basin took place in 2003 when a number of new fissures opened up in the ground. These areas of hot spots erupted hot water, brought in, bringing over the, uh, the overall ground temperatures to cooking point, cooking the local vegetation from the heat, the boiling heat, of course. Yellowstone's park superintendent then closed off the area because of safety concerns. The tourist boardwalks and the paths had to be rearranged and reweaved in another fashion in order to get around the new hot springs. In other words, to keep the people farther away. So uh, we'll keep you updated, we'll keep an eye on this because obviously uh, there has been a tremendous change in the geyser activity.